Welcome. We're going to do this geometry question, which is very popular, being asked in a lot of tests and a lot of exams. Okay. Before we start, uh, this is a square with the side of six, and these are two quarter circles. Okay. This is the full circle. You could just see it. And this is the quarter circle. To start, the shaded area, let's call that X, and this part will be Y. So we see that X plus Y is the quarter circle. So that will give us one equation. We know that the area of a circle is pi R squared because this is a quarter, so it gets one over four. We said R is six, so six squared is 36 over four is going to be nine pi. So x plus y is nine pi. That's the first equation. So if this is y, this is also y by symmetry. So this is z. So x plus two y plus z is the square. And the area of the square is 36. That will give us the second equation. Now, is that enough? Is this enough? The answer is these two equations are not enough. With these two, you cannot answer this question because we have three variables and we only have two equations. So we need to think of something else. That's not enough. So look at the picture. Like we need to find something else too. Okay. What if we draw this line? Okay, this line, as you see, is again the radius of the circle. So this one is also six. This one is also six. This one is also six. So that means we have a collateral triangle. Each angle is 60 degrees. And the square has a right angle, so which is 90 degrees. So this yellow angle, is 30 degrees. Okay, now I'm going to write the final equation. The area of this equilateral triangle plus this shape, like a pizza slice, and again, another one like this. Okay. Remember, these are not the same as y, right? These are different shapes. But we know that each one has 30 degrees. And finally, plus z is again the square, which was 36. OK. Now, the area of a collateral triangle is going to be this. Okay, and six is one side of it. And now this part, okay. You see, the area of a circle is pi r squared, which is going to be like this, right? So, but why do, why do I write this one? Because this is not going to be the full circle. The full circle has 360 degrees. But we only want two slices of it, which total which total 60 degrees. 60 degrees over 360 is going to be 1 over 6. And one of the 6s will be canceled. So that means this yellow areas together are 6 pi. As I said, 6 pi plus z equals 36. Okay. Good. Now let's compare these two equations together. 36, 36 equal. z and z equal. That means this, these two, x plus 2y, will be this one.
Okay, so we have two equations with x and y. But here, see, we want to find the value of x, remember? So I'm going to multiply this by 2. So that we have 2x plus 2y equals 18 pi. And then if we subtract the two equations, 2y and 2y will cancel. The left hand side will be 2x minus x, which is x. And then we're going to write all of this. Okay, and x 18 pi minus 6 pi is going to be 12 pi minus 9 times the square root of 3. That's going to be the area of that section, the shaded area. I hope you found it useful. If you did, 